Hey guys, welcome. Malice 2. Uh, you may be wondering why there's only three people in the uh, the uh, loading screen here. Uh, I was on last night and uh, really wasn't anyone to play with, to be honest with you. Uh, there just wasn't many games on. And uh, no one really good, honestly. I mean, I, I'm not I, I'm not here to brag or, or, or toot my horn or anything like that. I, I'm, I would say above average, but that's about it. So... I decide uh, two new guys. Uh, we really couldn't get a fourth player, um, so uh, <clears throat> I decide to actually play them uh, one versus two. So uh, here's the match here. Now, granted, I do start off with a little bit. Well, so I was I was telling them I I accidentally said I get more MP. I actually don't get more MP. Um, I get the same as much as they do. They just have their split between You're two right. players. Having said that, I'm able to pull up actually paratroopers here, so that's actually going to help me out in the middle here. So yeah, uh, there's a uh, 1v1 uh, tournament coming up, uh, hosted by Strat. Uh, really excited about that. Um, it's I think it's just a great... Uh, and one of the guys does a good job here, just kind of pushing down to this... Uh, this uh, first point here. Uh, so I do need to redirect my forces there. But anyways, uh, yeah, 1v1 tournament. Uh, really excited about that. I've been doing a, quite a bit of practice matches um, with, you know, like Chino and Otto, uh, Mr. Pringles, uh, Demon Hard. Uh, I played uh, Sunbeam actually last night as well, uh, a little bit earlier. Uh, in depth. Uh, so I think I've. Uh, Oh, and BN Sun, I've played him a few times. Uh, so yeah, I've actually played, uh, <laughs> it's funny, I've played quite a bit of people in the tournament already. Um, I'd say I fared well. Uh, I'd say my, I have a winning record, but uh, but yeah, I have struggled with a few people. Uh, Pringles and uh, Demon Heart, I did struggle against those guys um, a little bit. Um, I haven't posted any of those games. I did record them, but uh, you know, I... I I'm competitive. I don't want to go ahead and, and post up, you know, basically my screen and what that looks like. Um, so I'll kind of um, leave that. Uh, I probably won't post that, to be honest with you guys. Uh, now, keep in mind, uh, the tournament will be going on, and I'm sure Strat will cast quite a bit of games. I'll try and cast, too. Uh, so if anyone's interested or, or sees me on, um, I'd love to uh, cast their game um, and, uh, look, uh, at least show, you know, basically from a spectator view, uh, how the game played out. Uh, so definitely let me know about that, um, if you are, uh, uh wanting me to, to do that. Um, so, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's unfortunate that sometimes you just can't find good games. Um, you know, the good thing about Steam is, and, and the way, you know, I was, I was kind of nervous how there, you know, there's not really a lobby in, in this, in AS2 as opposed to AS1, um, but it, I think it does help, uh, you know, basically uh, push for adding friends, and thus I think it's a little bit easier to organize games too, uh, but sometimes it's just, there's just nobody on, so, uh, yeah, it looks like the opponent on this uh, left side. Uh, I don't really know what he's been doing. He hasn't gone in the middle at all. Uh, he's got a few guys here. But they're going to die really soon. It looks like maybe he's pushing over to that far island over there. Uh, you know, I, I just went too far. But, you know. That happens, I guess. Sometimes you, you kind of want to just strong, strong arm <laughs> some of these uh, newer players. So, uh, unfortunately, you, you kind of get sloppy. Um, and, and, and like I said before, I don't really like to play newer guys that much. Um, but sometimes I just really don't have a choice, honestly. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this uh, Minesweeper out here. I guess that's what it's called. It's really just a flame tank. I don't really know. Um, I don't use it for sweeping mines a whole lot. But, uh... So yeah, the tournament should start once the beta patch comes out. Um, I heard, I saw in the forums it would be probably out, I guess, later this week. Uh, but you know, I'm not one of those that that takes that to, uh, you know, it, when it, it it'll come out when it comes out. Um, 
you know, I'm not one of those that's going to sit there and, and wait for the patch to come out. I mean, um, if history tells us anything, it, you know, it literally could be after, after the holidays. It could be in January. You never know. Um, but either way, it does look really good, so... Uh, you know, once that comes out, uh, I think we'll be able to get started. A uh, really cool thing is spectators will be available. Veteran C, uh, quite a bit of cool things. Um, I think it will help a little bit. You won't see as much spamming. You obviously still need a lot of infantry. Um, uh, which leads me to really the number one problem with new players. They just don't buy enough infantry. You, you, you kind of have to scream at him, and of course I say that, and he brings another squad against my uh, flamethrower, so that's probably a bad example there, but it, it, I guess the best way of putting it is they either don't buy enough infantry, or they buy infantry at the wrong times. Um, I guess, does that make sense? And what I've noticed recently is, um, usually newer players don't really push a whole lot, but what I've noticed recently, I think, with the way that game's been being played, um, you get some guys, I've played uh, a few games in the last week or so that some newer guys just, literally they just throw the kitchen sink at you, um, and when they lose, they just kind of quit. Um, so, I guess I go either way there, um, either way it's not good, you want to be balanced, uh, you always want to be balanced. Um, you always want to think about plan B. Uh, if plan A doesn't work, what's plan B? So. So yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, I'm just controlling this. Uh, I, I mean, they've got, they haven't even brought a tank out, so I, I really don't know. Speaking of that, it looks like they got a Chaffee over there. But, uh, that's gonna get grenaded soon. Just trying to position some guys here. I've got my uh, AT infantry. Want to get him in the middle. I don't know what my flamethrower is doing. If it's just, I don't, I don't know what it's doing, but I'm not worried about it. So oh, they're three capped, and that means that means death. So any decent player would do. They would coordinate. They haven't coordinated at all. I can tell you that right now. They would figure out how to get one point back at least. Don't know why I bought an AT gun. I didn't have a tank on the field besides the the, the flamethrower, but that was on the left side. It just buys that don't make sense. That's really one thing uh, also that I, that I noticed is buys don't make sense. Don't 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 have your opponent dict. You know what I'm saying? Don't buy something ahead of time. You don't you don't necessarily need it ahead of time. I mean. Basically, if you're countering, that's what you want to do. You want to counter you. It's not just... Unless you have a plan going forward. Oh, I really want to get this grenade off, but I think it kind of lags out here and I wasn't able to. Yeah, I just missed everybody. <laughs> I actually killed myself. So I got these kamikazes here. I'm gonna go one in behind them, one in front. Oh, what? Oh, Jesus. I swear, sometimes those kamikazes are just notoriously bad. And I don't know what this guy's doing. What is he doing? No vision. No vision at all. He doesn't know where he's going. He doesn't know where he's gonna shoot. What is he, what's he doing now? Like, what are you doing? What are you shooting at? Oh, he's trying to flank my Chinu, I guess. 
but there's a building in the way. Ah, oh, he did get my Haga. That was that was nice. And he's keep he keeps going. Good for him. But I mean, where's the infantry? Where's the vision? That's the biggest problem. That was uh, what a slugger's what seven eight hundred MP or something. I mean, he's completely out now. Minus his hero points, which I I think one thing I noticed after the end of this game, I don't think these guys even buy a hero point. This game's got a learning curve, guys. I mean, it really does. You can't get frustrated. You gotta learn the game. Once you're able to learn the game, then you're able to play so much better. You know, it's not... People say, oh, Assault Zones is how fast you can click. It helps, but... Microing helps, but... A lot of it's macro play, a lot of it's uh, what you're going to buy, a lot of it's... And there's a lot of things that go to it. I mean, these guys just didn't push, they didn't buy the right units, and when they bought a big unit, they just rushed it in. Oh, that's game. I mean, it was just... It was simple. So, uh, yeah, that's game one. We actually play a second one, and I'll go ahead and um, put that one up as well. Because I think that one's a little bit better. Uh, the try harder, I guess you could say. Uh, now they rush, but it's, it's way too late. <laughs> uh, GG, guys.